Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Korean playthrough in EU4 in the new Mandate of Heaven DLC with me, your host, Lucky Marine, and we're getting everybody um, two base stacks. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for the two base stack. We can always take it off them if we need to. Uh, yeah, we're coming back to our own lands from the war that we had with the Orient to take back Oh balls, we are stuck here now. To take back, uh, no, not even take back. Um, we went to war with the Orient for this. There was Mongolian, and then midway through the war, we're like, well, why don't we just take the entirety of Mongolia off them? And it seemed like a good idea at the time. It seemed like a really good idea at the time because we could use the cores that Mongolia still have around here. All these cores. Well, maybe not these on Ming, but all these cores and these claims on Gorchin, uh to our advantage. Well, that was the plan. However, it would appear... Yeah, okay. Uh, it would appear that we can't kick off with Gorchin for Mongolia's cores for some reason. What is this? Gain 50 legitimate. I don't need 50 legitimacy. Why would I ever want this? No, we'll just lose the five prestige, thank you very much. The hell was that? Game, please. Please. You're still at eight. Therefore we won't take this deck just yet. Let's bring you up. As you are the air. And when can we have a fight with you? See, we can't. There's no reconquest for Mongolian land. I don't know why. I don't know why. When can we fight you? Soon. 13. Two years. Well, we'll already have a jump on their capital. Which is still here. As long as we don't isolate it entirely, as long as we keep at least two provinces here, they probably won't move their capital, which is fine with us. Let's mothball that fort, or two forts, for the time being. We don't need to do this because we're waiting for this harmonization to come up. As soon as it's all the way up, not even all the way up, as soon as it's uh, it's up a little bit, about 80, 80% 80 something like that, we'll harmonise probably with, well the only one that we can do so far. It'll take about 30 years for us to fully harmonise with them. Let's bring the maintenance down. you not popped up to 9 yet? Why are you not at 9? The 032 might have something to do with it. Okay. 23 months. The Age of Discovery is over. And we unlocked 2. The aggressive expansion and the improved war taxes, which we didn't take when we were at war, did we? That's how little, that's how little I, I care about war taxes when I go to war. I never click the button, never, never, never click the button. I'm going to have to sort of grow out of that, I think. They lose 10 loyalty, they gain 2 loyalty. Well, I'd rather that way around, I suppose. And this splendor doesn't carry on to the next age. Feudal society, have at least 5 different vassals, we only have the 1. We control 2 centers of trade. Not the five required. Agent was discovered in Orient. That's fine. We. I don't think we can fabricate anything on you, can we? Can we fabricate on. No. We can't. Well. Royal marriage. Probably with Ming. 
Yeah, let's get this one main. Okay. Request a share map's probably with Ming as well. Nope. Designate March would be Mongolia. Offer alliance. Ryuku would offer an alliance. Let's go for two of you. Okay, one of you. In the outraged countries. Who's outraged? Ming is classed as outraged. Alright. Weird, but I don't think he is. Aggressive expansion of 12. We haven't been able to expand. Fair, nice. Colonize the girls, done. Sweet. Next. Turn girls into a city. Yes. Let's do that before you actually get turned into a city. Give us a little bit of base tax. Or production, I think. Was it production? Let's have a look. Production. Production of fur. Okay. 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 Why have we lost the conquest CB against you? Annexation process of you. One, two, three. One, two, three. But how? Liberty Desire of 99, you. 57. I reckon if I went to war with him, I don't think many of his people would join him. I don't think many would join in. Golden Era. Marmalukes activated their Golden Era right now. Okay. We'll get the National Unrest. Can we, can we go to war yet? Come on. Let's go. October. Alright. Let's prep for ourselves. Let's prep ourselves for war in October, shall we? We'll go blockade their one sea tile that they have. It'll be fun. Okay. Now I think we're probably if he integrates a few more down here. Then we'll come and fight Japan. What's this? Yeah, we need to take this now. Oh well. Let's grab you and you and you. Not that we have any cannons, because right now they're a bit useless. A little bit useless and a bit pointless. And we'll declare war on Colchin. When we're back up to... Uh, full morale. Uh, go on then. So, Age of Reformation is upon us. From east to west, this is the age of religious conviction, debates and mass movements. In Europe, Protestantism is entrenched whilst millennianarianism, millennianism, wow, game please, takes hold of Iran and religious syncretism shapes Indian society. Fine, okay. So, Age of Reformation. During the Reformation, that's not going to be a thing. Humanist or religious. Fully embrace either humanist or religious. We will have this. Convert provinces. Convert at least 10 provinces. Probably not, because what's the point when you can just harmonize with them? Create a colonial empire. <laughs> We're not having five colonies. 
we're not having five colonial empire no, stuff we'll leave that to the likes of uh, Portugal and Spain and like all the crazy people converted another nation forced another nation to change their religion to yours we might do that with Korjin towards the end we'll do a false religion Asian trade gain the trade bonus from either silk spices or china wear that we'll be able to do this but we'll keep it in mind unify culture on 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 all provinces of your culture group we have all provinces of our culture group it's korean we have all provinces of our culture group so in the next tick we should have this no why not owns all korean provinces i have all korean provinces is korea hiding provinces is this korea it's not korean yeah this is korean as well so do we have to wait until our do we have to wait until our damn colony is finished before we satisfy this that's ridiculous come on, paradox please oh well Oh well. Anyway, we have fun and exciting things to do, such as declare war. Not for Mongolian cause, because obviously that's not a thing. For... Erin. And you come down here. And you attach. You are attach because you are... disloyal. How many do I need here? Just the three, I believe. Right, everyone else. Head off. Nope. Leave one in case of bad rolls, like they just had. Rest of you into there. Okay. Where did their troops go? They were over here somewhere. I don't know. We will lock down the capital. They're at war with Ming again. We need to be able to get past, or uh, we need to be able to hop over Ming. And that's not going to happen, I don't think, unless we colonize. It's a good job we took uh, exploration, otherwise we would have been stuffed. Okay, well I don't know where they ran off to. As long as they keep on running to wherever they, they have run to. I don't think I really care. Oh, this is you here. But we have a hundred percent war score. What were you doing? I don't know what he was doing. I don't even think he knows what he was doing. Anyway, what do we want? We need at least that, and hopefully Ming doesn't take this province, so that we can declare on the Orient and try to get past him. Grab this lot to give to Mongolia as well. 
Do we? Do we not? Just Aria. Just Aria would be a little bit angry with us. What is this madness? Hundred and seventeen aggressive expansion. Seventy six over extension. Give up claims on us. Okay, maybe not. War reps. Okay, maybe not war reps. Okay. Just, uh, yeah, fine, get all the things. Bonjour, the font. I mean, I know our font is big, and that's what you judge. So, so that's how you judge, judge success on. Uh, in EU4. It's, it's all on how giant your font can be. And we have a giant font. Our, uh, our name's quite big as well. And uh, yeah, but Ming is still stupidly strong, stronger than us. Anyway, let's give Mongolia some of his calls back. And we'll do it in the way of uh, her interpretive dance. No, we won't. We'll uh, we'll give them these four, these three, through this screen. Grand Province, Kirtland. Okay, so they get to core it. Setson. Bay and Tumen. Okay. So that was the cause that they had. I need these. I can't I can't give these back to Mongolia because I need these as a as a way to get through to our um What else did you have? You had a claim on no non goal. So I might as well give you it. It's land that we have just taken. It's land that we would have to call. Why not give it to Mongolia for them to call? Grand Province. Oh, non goal. Kind of extension have we got now? Now I don't want Mongolia getting too big, but I reckon that's big enough. We'll call the rest of it ourselves. I mean, I could give them a lot more. I could have given them all of this, all the stuff that we've just taken of coaching. I'll allow them to call it and then integrate them. But at risk of Mongolia getting a little bit too big, Let's leave it at that. We'll call the rest ourselves. Root out all, root out all our own corruptions. Bring our maintenance down. And increase autonomy in the areas where it needs to be increased, which is not many places actually. We might actually leave it at that. We've isolated Cochin to a single province, which means an isolated single province. Which means Ming Hao get hold of them, no one else can get hold of them. We can just use them as a bit of a punching bag for first removing all of their cores on bits and pieces. 
which is important. And secondly, we might force religion, if we can, maybe, I don't know, perhaps. Let's mothball you. What religion are you? I think we're, because we're harmonized with this religion. Because we're harmonized with Tengri, we can't force their religion, which is unfortunate, but oh well. I'll blow your thoughts. And we just have to wait and see what happens here. We need Ming not to cut us off. If Ming doesn't cut us off, we might have an access. We need to take these provinces to get round Ming so we can continue expanding into this area. Let's um, build spite network up on you. And so we continue. Improving relations with Mongolia, yep. And with Buryata. No, you can't have access. You can sit in there and you can wonder about what you've done. In the meantime, Mongolia hates us, but he's not too bad. I get heresy, it's unfortunate, but what can you do? Okay, so, Aurea have just pieced out. Ming took this, but they still allowed us access. Ming took this and this, it looks like. We need to go in and get our pound of flesh. We need to, this province, this province, this, well we just need to take the whole of Aurea. To be honest, if Ming cut us off, means we're going to have to colonize here before we can get round this problem. We'll have to colonize here, not here, and then here, and then here, just to get past him. I need to say, after he's cut us off here, he doesn't take the rest of Orit and continue we will just end up colonizing beside whatever he takes trying to get ahead of him no we need to do this now we don't have a truce with you do we we do but ming has a truce that lasts just that little bit longer all right let's get this one well we'll stack up Oh no, someone has died, but above any seat. We'll stack up on the Orient border, but we're gonna have to wait. Tax modifier, production efficiency, we'll get level ones in there. How much money are we making actually? Five ducats. Uh, relatively low maintenance, we'll push that all the way down. Hmm. Not bad. We should probably spend a little bit of this money though. Let's get Shipyards. On oh, our little peninsula. There we go. Done. All money gone. Sweet. And we'll keep an eye on what's going down here. And now that they're integrating, or they were integrating, the bubble guy. Neville supplies or grain? I'll go for Neville supplies. Oh no. So the curls that was fur is now going to switch balls. See, the fur, fur starts at two, but it just goes up in price the later on in the game. But Neville supplies is a lot better than grain. So I'll go, Neville Splice. Oh well. You can't have everything I suppose. But yeah, we'll keep our eye on this. Um, the more he integrates, the weaker he's going to get. Because there's going to be less 
navies knocking about. There's going to be less manpower pools knocking about. It's like the bigger you get, the the return gets less. It's um, there's a specific term for it. Um, diminishing rate of return or something like that. The bigger he gets, the more provinces that he eats, and he's just the more daimyos that he eats, the weaker he will get. We'll leave attention. We don't need the diplo uh, CB. We have to wait for the truth timer anyway, and we're going to get proper CBs. So we'll ease the tension for the time being, and we will not have this amount of attrition. What is this ridiculousness? Sort yourself out. So yeah, once he's taken, once he, he'll probably eat this guy, and then he'll try to eat this guy. So he'll be left with two daimyos that will be, most certainly will be, um, not loyal. Well, let's just say not loyal. At that point, I think we can uh, we can fight him for Ugo. Uh, how's our uh, our arrows all right actually? Uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, you're not going in. A three one one. Mm mm. Mm mm. No way. At uh, 56, you can uh, you can pop out another kid. I'm certain of that. I'd rather be in a regency for a little bit. <sighs> well, it's better than what we had. We had a 3-1-1 before. Now we've got a 3-4-1. An extra three monarch points. And a strong claim. Still a strong claim, so... That's alright. And how are you in terms of tech? We'll check that in the next episode. I should have ended this a long time ago. But the next war is going to be the war to get past Ming. I.e. to eat through the Orit. Eat the entirety of the Orit, probably. Uh, just to get past him before Ming cuts us off. I mean, he's doing what I would do. Korea is rapidly expanding. He's a tributary, so I don't want to fight him directly because the bigger he gets, the better for me. But I don't want him to get too big. So let's just cut him off here. Let's just hamstring him a little bit. Well done, Ming. Well done. So we need to get in first. As soon as our truce is over, we need to be ready. Full manpower. Full, uh, full maintenance. Day it stops, and we need to force our way through. We need troops. We'll, we'll get access through Ming anyway, but we need troops on every single one of these provinces. It's going to take a while to take the capital down, and in that while, their truce with Ming might be up. Ours is up in fifteen twenty-five. Theirs is up in fifteen twenty-five. So it's going to be a matter of months. We need to be ready straight away. If Ming get to this province before we do and take it, it's going to cause us issues. Lots of issues. All the issues, in fact. All of the issues. So yeah, anyway. I've been, I've been looking, Marine. You lot have been amazing. Join me next time for probably... I don't know. I don't know. It might be a war with... Uh, with Japan? Do we risk it? Do we risk a war with Japan? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to get caught up here and not be ready to smash all yet. Before Ming can, the month later. And they will do, I guarantee you, the month later when their truce is up. They will go to war with Orit. Anyway, until then, do take care.